hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will do a simple assembly which is pulley with bracket assembly with a2 plus workbench and we will assemble all parts with fasteners in this tutorial so if you have not installed the a2 plus workbench then go to the tools then add-on manager and search for a2 plus and install it you will get here when you launch your add-on manager as I have uh, already installed it and if you are not seeing here then you can search here for a2 plus and install it and restart your free cat so we will do from the scratch so let's start so I will close this assembly and I will create a blank assembly and I will activate my A2 plus from here and then I will import my component so before even the importing first I will save my assembly as I have already saved my assembly here fully with bracket assembly so what I will do I will say R1 and I will save and then I will click on import and first part which I will import is a uh, base so this is the base and then second part I will import second part will be my bracket so I will import my bracket here now before the starting we will see some tools of the A2 plus workbench this one is for importing the part from external file and it is the add shape from external file and this is the update and here are the constraint which we will see when we start the constraining this is the solver and here is the part list here is the you can transparent the assembly so we will see one by one and now we will constrain it so we we will select this face and this face so once you select on this face then a2 plus will show you the possible constraint here it will not show the constraint which are not possible it will show you the possible constraint so I will select this coincidence constraint and I will say ok and then I will select this hole and this hole so it is showing the possible constraint of axis so I will select it and I will say accept then I will select this one and I will select this and I will select axical constraint and I will accept it same way I will import the bracket again and I will constrain it to the other side I will rotate my model and I will select this face and I will say coincidence and I will accept it and then I will select this face and this face and you axial okay now select this face and this face I will say axial now we will save our assembly and now we will import bush now for this we will select this and this and we will say axial we will accept it and uh, now I will select this bush and I will say transform and I will move it little bit left hand side and I will say ok I will select this face and this one and I will say coincidence constraint and I will accept it 
I will again import the bush and assemble on other side so I will select this and I will click on the bush select this face and this face and I will say coincidence accept and I will select this and this Excel I will save my assembly now I will import the pin now I will select this and this and I will say Excel constraint now I will say transform now I will select this one and this one and I will say coincidence and it is an offset of 2.01 okay but I want it outside so I will flip the direction and I will say accept so now we will insert our bush here again sorry not this bush we will insert our roller we will select this one and this and I will say Excel and now I will select my roller say to the transform now I select this face and I rotate my assembly here and I will say coincidence constraint Accept. so this is the small tutorial how to assemble the parts using the A2 plus workbench and uh, a2 plus workbench is the most easiest workbench what I feel for the assembly of the parts in the next tutorial I will explain you how to work with the fastener workbench and how to insert the fasteners here so keep in touch with the tutorials and if you have not subscribed my channel then please like subscribe and share my video your small support will help this channel to grow Thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time.